During this virtual macart lesson, I am going to be showing you how to create these beautiful, funky looking flowers created using sticks and tissue paper. Now, all the materials that we are going to need is a palette with some very basic colors. I have white, blue, yellow, red, and a little bit of purple. I have a couple different size paint brushes and a paper towel two pots of water for cleaning and rinsing my brush. Now for the base of my flower, I have used a stick, just a normal stick that I found outside. And that stick had a few different twigs coming off of it, which make little stems for each flower. So the more little stems that you find coming off of your stick, the more beautiful flowers you can add. Now for the flowers, I have used tissue paper that is simply cut into little squares. These ones have already been prepared here. Do whatever size you want. The bigger the squares, the larger your flowers will be. And I have some blue watercolor tape. You can use any tape. This is what I had to hand. This is blue paper tape. Now to begin our beautiful flowers, we have our plain sticks here that need to be painted. So these are going to be the stems of the flower eventually. Now what I have is my paint palette here with some darker colors around the outside and white in the middle. I am going to add white to every color that I mix up to make a nice light bright stem with really powerful colors. So I'm going to start with my larger paintbrush. I have a large flat head here and I'm going to do purple first. So I'm going to take a little of my purple and a good scoop of white into there as well. And I'm mixing up a nice light purple. That's lovely. I'm going to add a little bit more purple. Now you can do whatever style you want for your stem. You could do polka dots. You could paint it all one flat color if you would like to. It is totally up to you. I love seeing how creative and imaginative students can be with their creations. So try something new. What I'm going to do is turn my stick around and start from the base here. Now I'm going to do stripes on mine. Oh, that looks lovely. It's a bit of an odd shaped stick. So I've got to really twist it around to paint it. Make sure I do the bottom as well. Now, seeing as I'm using this light purple, I am going to go through my entire stick and add stripes all the way up of this one color. Then I'm going to switch to a different color. So that way there's less washing of the brush between colors. So here, let's do another one here. This flathead brush is really nice because it's so wide. I can just do one stroke and it gives me a lovely straight edge on either side. Oh, this is going to look beautiful. You can do as many as you want like this and you can have a whole bunch of beautiful flowers. There we go. And I'm going to go up again. Now I'm going to do this all the way up my beautiful flower stem. we go now I've gone all the way up with my purple it's time to change colors so I'm going to clean my brush off really well in the dirty water and then the rinsing water there we go dab it on the paper towel and mix up a new color I think next I'm going to do a pink so I'm going to take some white and mix a little red into it. Oh, that is a lovely pink. I like that very much. Now, everywhere I've done purple, I am going to do a little bit of pink right next to it. I'm holding my stick, allowing it to dry. You can lay it down to do this if you would prefer. So wherever I have purple, I'm going to do a nice strip of pink right next to it.
here we are looking beautiful. So cleaning in the dirty water first, then the rinsing water, and now I am going to switch to yellow. So a little bit of white again. The white really helps the color to stand out on the dark background of the stick. So the white is very important. So a little bit of yellow in here. And I'm going to paint the yellow right next to the pink. looking beautiful next I'm going to do a blue so into my dirty water first and then into my rinse water dabbing on the paper towel and I'm gonna take a little bit of white and some blue together looking for a nice bright sky blue there we go beautiful so same again Next to the yellow, I'm going to add my blue stripe. For the spaces that I have left, I'm going to mix up a nice bright green. So into my cleaning water, rinsing water, I'm going to take a little yellow into the blue that's over here, the blue that I just mixed up. And let's get a lovely bright green. Have a play around with your colors. Remember guys, you can do whatever you want for yours. I'm excited to see how creative you've all been. And I'm going to fill in those last spaces with green. left on mine that I'm going to fill with yellow. We have our beautiful painted stems. Now guys, we have to be patient. Allow these stems to dry completely before we start making and adding our flowers. Now very important, make sure you clean your paintbrush and lay it down to dry. And once you've done that guys, I will see you in five minutes. Okay guys, we are back with our beautiful painted stems that are nice and dry. What we need now is some beautiful flowers. So I have my tissue paper here that's been cut up 
into small squares. Some are a little smaller than others. I'm thinking of making some smaller flowers for our little stems down here and larger ones for the top. Now, these flowers are so easy to make, but make sure you have your tape on standby. I am using just watercolor tape, blue tape for mine. You can get tapes in all different colors. You can even use clear tape so you can see your painted stem underneath. Now, what I'm going to do is select three or four different sheets of tissue paper, all different colors. So I'm going to start with a large one. So I'm going to take, let's do a large blue. And I love this pink. So I'm going to do pink, blue, and yellow. Those are my chosen colors. So I'm going to move these ones out of the way. Now, when you lay your tissue paper down, start with a square. Lay your next color over so it is in the opposite direction. You can see how I have a nice triangle out the top. There we go. Now, pop your finger into the center and push down on the table. Pick up the tissue paper around your finger. So I'm gathering it up around my finger like this. And then what I'm gonna do is start to pinch the bottom and slide my finger out. And if you look underneath, I've gathered the bottom in and I'm pinching it to make a nice little stem start at the base of my flower there. Lovely. It's going to look gorgeous. I'm not going to open it up just yet. Now, this is what I'm going to attach to my stick. Now, this is a pretty looking flower and I think I'm going to do that on this one here it's going to be attached right here so now I'm going to take my tape it doesn't take very much I have a little bit of tape this is a paper tape so it's super easy to tear lovely I'm going to attach my flower and then I'm going to wrap my tape around making sure I'm on the actual wood of the stick here, wrapping around, securing my beautiful flower to the stem. And there we go. Now I can fluff my flower out a little bit and arrange those petals. Gorgeous. So I have my first flower attached. That looks beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is select some more tissue paper, but different colors. So this time I'm going to do a, let's do a purple. And I do love that pink. So I'm going to do the pink again. And I'm going to do a green, I think. There we are. Let's do four. So I'm going to also do a yellow in the center of this one as well. So same thing. Pop your finger in the center, fold the tissue paper up around your finger, there we go, gather and twist at the bottom, <laughs> lovely, and you'll end up with another beautiful funky flower, lovely. Now same again, we're going to get some tape and attach it to our stem. Now we're going to go through and fill in all of the little stems that we have sticking off of our stick. There we go, we have two beautiful flowers on here and we're gonna add our third one up at the top here. So again, I think for this one, I'm going to do pink on the outside. Lovely. And then a blue and a yellow, Ooh. a larger yellow, and then a green in the middle. There we go. These are so fun to make. So finger in the middle, twist up and around. There we 
There we go. So twist the bottom. Don't worry about what the top looks like. We can open that in a second. Twist the bottom there and grab a little bit of tape. Find whatever stems you have left and secure your beautiful flower to the stem using the tape. Just that little area that you pinched and twisted at the base of the flower. There we go. Now I'm going to open my flowers up, have a play around. You can also trim them if you want some different edges on your petals. Tissue paper is so wonderful to use. You can scrunch it up and get some beautiful, lovely flowers. Gorgeous. And there we go, guys. Our beautiful floral masterpiece is complete. That was so simple and so fun. Make as many as you want. Experiment, try different shaped flower petals, paint different patterns going down your stems, create a whole bunch, gather them together and make your very own bouquet. Now we are very excited to see your creation. So remember, please share in the comments of Virtual McCart on Facebook or Instagram. We cannot wait to see what you have created. Remember guys, no matter what you choose to do, the most important thing is that you have fun.